They're off in the Kentucky Derby. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to RacingNews.com, and welcome back to our Kentucky Derby coverage. And, boy, we've got a lot of it up on the site now. One of the coolest things is, if you're interested in each and every horse pointed towards the Kentucky Derby this season, we've got videos that you can watch one by one and kind of get the full analysis of each horse. Today, I'm going to talk about Reincarnate, uh, a horse that is barely in the Kentucky Derby. He barely qualified. And let's try to take a look and see what's going to happen with Reincarnate. Tim Yachtin trains because Bob Baffert can't be here, but Baffert is the actual you know, trainer of Reincarnate. Johnny Velasquez to ride, and we'll see what happens with him. You know, uh, the good news about him, he's got very solid pedigree. He should be able to get the mile in the quarter. He's got a running style that wins a lot of Kentucky Derbies. He likes to get up close to the pace. He doesn't have to have the lead. Um, but, you know, he likes to be up close to the pace and try to make that big run uh, through the stretch after stalking or leading. Another good thing about him, he's ran seven times. He's never missed the board. So these are very good and positive things. Now let's get to the negative. Boy, oh boy. Uh, listen, he started his career on the turf and it wasn't great. But again, a couple of uh, second place finishes ran pretty well. Broke the maiden on the dirt at Del Mar. Went to the sham stakes at a big price got in front, held on and won and dug in gamely. So everybody was pretty excited about him. He went next to the Rebel Stakes at Oaklawn Park. He broke horrifically bad. He did not get any kind of trip that day, the trip that he wanted to get. He fell way behind, but I thought it was encouraging. He got up for third. He ran a really nice race. It was over a sloppy track as well. So he left the Rebel Stakes at Oaklawn thinking, okay, I think he's about where he needs to be. I think this horse has got a shot. The next race will tell us. He goes to the Arkansas Derby next. He gets the absolute perfect, beautiful trip, exactly what you would have drawn up for him. He's flat in the lane and he gets third. So there's the negative. That last race was not great. You know, the speed figures really haven't improved much since that first win this season. So uh, the negative part is he just hasn't had that kick uh, when he really, really needed it. He had every opportunity in the world to come into this race off of a win in the Arkansas Derby, and he couldn't get it done in the stretch. So, uh, you know, does he bounce back? Does he run a little bit better? I think the distance will help him for sure. Um, I think he's going to be a useful horse. I, I, I don't view him as a bad horse or anything like that. I don't know that he's the right kind for the Kentucky Derby after what we saw in the Arkansas Derby. He's going to have to show some major improvements. All right, guys, that is my talk on Reincarnate, the horse by good magic out of a scat daddy mare. Like I said, great pedigree, beautiful horse too, by the way, if you're lucky enough to be at the Kentucky Derby, you'll enjoy seeing him. He is a beautiful specimen, uh, but is he good enough to win? Well, he's going to have to improve a lot from that Arkansas Derby effort. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching the video on reincarnate as we preview all of these runners for this year's 2023 kentucky derby hit that like button if you like the video hit subscribe if you want to get alerted anytime we have derby coverage like this and most importantly good luck at the kentucky derby racingdudes.com is your home for the best free picks for every race every track across the country we're ramping up for the 2023 Kentucky Derby, and we want you to join us in the fun. Subscribe to Racing Dudes' YouTube channel, like click the notification bell so you never miss a single video. Want to make money betting horses? Bet with the Racing Dudes.